I have been wanting to ask you something to Earth. Oh, well, what is it? I just want to learn about your past mass extinction events. They do sound interesting to learn. Well, Celine, I suppose I could explain. It's not really something I like to touch on, but if it's for educational purposes, I guess. First was the Great Oxidation Event, which occurred 2.4 billion years ago. Photosynthetic cyanobacteria began pumping oxygen into my atmosphere. That sounds good, right? Wrong. The sudden increase of atmospheric oxygen was toxic for many of my anaerobic -like organisms. My oceans even turned red because the oxygen reacted with the dissolved iron in the water, forming rust, which settled in the ocean floor. Then came the sturdy inglation. Imagine almost complete global freezing with temperatures at negative 12 degrees Celsius, habitat loss, reduced sunlight, and ocean acidification. A challenging period that almost choked the f out of my oceans. The end Ediacaran extinction 541 million years ago. The end of the Ediadaran biota. Unique soft bodied organisms. The causes are debated. Climate change, volcanic activity, sea level changes, and the arrival of complex predators. Next was the Cambrian extinction event 485 million years ago. This extinction was caused by sea level drops and titanic activity. Most of marine life was affected. Next was the Silurian extinction, around 444 million years ago. It was likely linked to global cooling, sea level drops, and possibly volcanic activity. 85% of species were wiped out, mainly marine life. Then the late Devonian extinction between 375 and 360 million years ago. This was triggered by meteor impacts, volcanism, oxygen shortage, and climate change. Many marine animals were affected as well. Next was a Permian extinction, 252 million years ago. This extinction was also known as a Great Dying. This was the most devastating. Immense volcanic eruptions in modern-day Russia released enormous quantities of greenhouse gases. This caused global warming with temperatures rising up by 5 degrees Celsius, ocean acidification, and widespread anoxia. 95% of marine animals and 70% of land animals vanished, although this paved the way for the formation of the dinosaurs. I'm starting to notice a trend of ocean acidification every time you have a mass extinction event. Anyways, then came the Triassic extinction. Again, this extinction was caused by volcanism, climate change, and meteor impacts. 80% of all species disappeared. This cleared the path of the dinosaurs' further diversity. And finally, the Cretaceous extinction, 66 million years ago. This was caused by a meteor impact, which caused wildfires, a global winter, and change in atmospheric pressure. 75% of all life was gone, but this allowed the rise of mammals. The Earth, I am so sorry. You have been through so much. Hey, hey, it's okay now. I've survived and adapted. I always find a way to flourish, even after such devastation.